Hiya. So, we are back at it. In here. It's almost New Year's. Second. And we are almost ready to start um, making steel. All we really need to do is uh, get some iron worked up and uh, then we can move forward. We need an electrolyzer pointed this way into the wall like that. Let's make sure we can get the switch. Oh, we can get the switch. Good. And I don't think there's anything else you have to do. There's no uh, changing settings. So that is just going to split, uh, split, spit um, raw hydrogen and oxygen uh, into the um, the thing that melts things. This thing, furnace. <sighs> so I'm surprised that there's no partying or anything going on. I live in a small town, and usually. You can hear people doing things like firing off fireworks and stuff, but uh, since the uh, the uh, the mass renovations of Ontario, um, a lot of people that would say that we would that that is let's say rowdy have left the neighborhood. Not that I'm saying that this is a good thing, although it does make. Um, the neighborhood much quieter and now we're full of like young professionals and stuff like that not that as a young professional I would want to live where I live because it sucks there is a pothole so big almost at almost just outside my window that the first year I lived here I sank into it um, up to my knee. And that's in the middle of the goddamn road. I think it's actually a water main shutoff thing. And it was supposed to be like a foot and a half higher at one time. But because of um, improper insulation and not proper, um, you know, putting crushed stone underneath it, base base laying, it, it, uh, it settled over, you know, years or decades or however long it took to uh, to sink that low so it's uh, it's a garbagey town but no fireworks no drunk people walking around no noise from the other apartments And if it sounds if it sounds like I'm a little depressed, I am. Even though I didn't like the noise, you know, it was still nice to to hear the activity, the breakup of the monotony of regular life, of everybody just doing similar things all the time, waking up, going to work. Uh Getting your car fixed, buying groceries, playing video games. Not that there's anything wrong with playing video games. I play video games. I like playing video games. What I mean, sometimes you want to go out in the real world and blow something up, which uh, is fun. It's fun to feel <clears throat> a shockwave hit you in the face. Get bits of stuff flying everywhere. Eh. I'll keep that in. It's New Year's Eve, and I'm a little depressed. Because it is New Year's Eve, and... I don't know how much you've accomplished in the New Year, but I haven't accomplished very much. Although I did accomplish a lot. My... My health is improving uh, quite a bit. I've been sick for literally 10 years. 
And now, I am not so sick anymore. And I am <clears throat> receiving treatment for my illness. And things are progressing for me. But, you know, things don't happen fast enough when you're impatient. Nothing is fast enough when you're impatient. I'm pretty sure that's what impatient means. We're about ready to make... Am I stuck? Nope. Uh, we're about ready to make some steel. We've got just about everything all lined up. We're going to have to move the printer and we're going to have to move this thing. And we're going to have to reinstall that um, um, liquid pedestal over here so that we can inject water into this thing. And we will have to wait till, till daylight and it'd be nice if this battery was fully charged at the time. Why does it do that? Hmm. Uh, it just did it again. Am I pushing something, or is that like a... Hmm. There... Ah. Okay, let's move this and go here. I didn't... I don't remember it making that sound when you held down the uh, Alt key before, but maybe they've added it? Who knows? Okay, so that's fully charged. Let's charge this battery. It's actually kind of annoying hearing it now. Maybe it's just a sound short. Ah, uh, who knows. Okay, so, let's find out how much steel we have. Or how much... Oh, I got one more thing of um, iron and I didn't make it, so we will wait until we make that. I have no New Year's resolutions. Like, that's sort of a childish thing. You make a resolution and you're obviously not going to uh, to keep it, because no one keeps their resolutions. Who keeps their resolutions? It's, uh, it's a promise to yourself that no one else knows that you make and you people usually select, you know, either a bad habit, like, I'm going to quit smoking this year. <laughs> And quitting smoking is hard. So, if you don't do it... Eh, you know what I mean? Or it's like, I'm going to exercise more. Like something that, you've, that you're 40 years old, you promise yourself to do, and then you never get around doing it. And every year. Now, if you were really going to make a real resolution, um, you'd be like... Uh, you'd hire like a, like a hitman or something. And pay him like a like a couple of ten thousand dollars, and be like, if I don't quit smoking by December thirty first, uh, shoot me in the forehead or something like that. Or no, nah, no, nah, dying is dying is too easy a way out. Because if you if you if you're dead, then you're not going to really care if you don't complete your resolution. So it's like, um, if I don't lose fifty pounds by December thirty um, first, then um, make me lose 50 pounds or 30 pounds or whatever by uh, removing a limb. Now that would get you motivated. That would really get you motivated. That's why you got to make real resolutions. This year, I resolved to play more video games. That's an easy resolution to fill because video games generally are nice. Generally, you get a, a feeling of accomplishment and... Um, you waste some of the time between boring spells. And some people make resolutions that they think they're going to keep. 
and they think are, reali are realistic, like, I resolve not to be a dick this year. Now, if you're naturally a dick, like, like, like a super jerk, that might be a really hard resolution to fill. So, maybe don't make that resolution. Maybe make a, a better resolution, like, this year I resolve to not be a dick to one person at least once. Now that's a resolution you can keep. Now, let's go over here. Pull this up, because I think that's how you save water from inside the pedestal. But that may not be completely accurate. Okay. We'll keep going with copper, because we don't want this thing to ever stop working. We're at 82 kilopascals now, so that's, that's a, a good amount. Okay, so how much iron do we have in total? We have 573. We will need a splitter. Split. Okay, no, we don't need a splitter. We need a stacker. Ah, it's called a stacker. There we go. A stacker. One stacker, please. Now we need a, to pull up this uh, dial, even though I basically just just put it down and that's because the lights going down light on that's because we need this thing and we're gonna put it right at the end of that cool now we got our stacker and our stacker we will temporarily put right here right here I think I can reach everything if I put it right there, right? Uh, yep. And it's right beside a plug, so... Uh, doodaddy. I also don't think giving up things that you actually like is worthwhile either. Like, um, I'll give up eating cheesecake or something like that. Like, why give up eating cheesecake? Cheesecake is good. Cheesecake is nice. And even if you're overweight or, you know, you have high cholesterol or something, there's other things you can give up. You don't need to completely give up something you like. Moderation. I love cheesecake. I don't eat it every day. I don't even eat it once a week. I probably... It would probably be... Safe to say that I don't even eat it once a month. I eat it occasionally. Uh, iron. Iron. Lead. Okay. I don't want to get these mixed up. So we're going to shove the 60 in there first. And then we'll spit out a 50. And then we'll put the 500 in there. And that'll spit three out there. Let's go for a nickel, because nickel takes the longest. Or gold takes the longest, I, I think. Close our helmet. Turn everything on. And go outside. Oop, no, wait a minute. I need you. And probably you. Oops. Super. Now we'll close that. We'll drain that off. And I mean... Um... If you are completely abstinent on something that you love, you will always miss it. But if you... Uh... Treat yourself to things, it can become a, a reward. It doesn't need to, you know, be a an obsession. And let's, uh, let's disconnect this, because this uses 5 watts of power. And we don't need it immediately. We'll need it in a few minutes. It can be an award, a reward, or it can be a special occasion thing. Like cheesecake on your birthday.
Although, quite honestly, I don't have any um, addictions. I'm not, I'm not predisposed to addiction, so maybe I just don't understand. Um, I know that there's quite a few people who um, never, like they're alcoholics. My grandfather was an alcoholic. He stopped drinking at some point and um, never drank again. Although, I think he actually drank a little bit occasionally. Uh, once, not from his own volition, just because there was something that had alcohol in it. Um, at a party he was at, and he didn't know there was alcohol in it. And he might have, might have, you know, relapsed a few times, if that's the correct word, but... And that's it. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can get three more out of here. One, two, three. But did he really have to? Could he have um, um, modified his behavior so that he didn't uh, drink to excess? I don't know what the answer to that is. Maybe it's no. Maybe you can't. Um, maybe he can't, but someone else can. I'm not judging. I, I, I seriously don't know. From my own perspective, um, okay, so we do need some, pre that's going to give pressure, so we don't need that. I can go disconnect that now. I'm more compulsive, so uh, the reason, one of the reasons that I don't uh, eat cheesecake often is because I don't buy cheesecake often. I buy it occasionally, but when I do buy a cheesecake, I eat the whole cheesecake. I eat the whole thing. And if, if I make something to eat, I will eat the whole thing. That might have something to do with, like, having a, a grandmother who was born in the 30s and... Uh, having the mentality that you don't leave the kitchen table unless you clean your plate, which I guess um, is true that might lead to eating disorders, because I definitely have an eating disorder. I don't generally eat enough. I tend to go a while without eating. Sometimes a whole day or two days. And I'm going to wait until um, our power is a little better off right now. So if he, being an alcoholic, said I'm going to give up um, alcohol for uh, my as my New Year's resolution, would that really have been a realistic thing? Uh, let's take the whole helmet off. There we go. Let's not take the whole helmet off. <laughs> Light on. Oxygen low. There we go. I'll turn these off. He was he was Catholic, so he gave things up for Lent. Could you give up alcohol for Lent? Is that where the whole uh, uh, New Year's resolution came from? It was like a, a Lent giving up thing that just sort of migrated to uh, um, people giving up stuff for um, New Year's. I'm, I'm uh, waxing kind of philosophical here because, you know... New Year's, and I'm playing a video game. Ooh, more coal. Okay, let's see here. I guess we'll throw that right there for now. 
What's this? Oh, that's the uh, switch. I think the f I think the turbine has stopped. I can't hear it spinning. Now has this cooled off? No, it's staying at uh, 316. So we've got a perfect vacuum. Or we've got perfect insulation, which is, is nice. Um, I think I could probably keep the tape in here. I don't need to carry it with me. And this is just going to blow back and forth as I um, enter and exit the, uh, the airlock. It's not really going to go anywhere. There we go. And uh, we'll put like that. And... I guess I can... lock that down. And I'll take a real-life drink of something. Uh, um, what do you call it? It's one of those protein shakes. That's what it is. Maybe I'll keep the sound of the fluid racing down my throat. Because isn't that a... Isn't that a great mental image? Okay, this is not full yet. We're gonna wait till it's full. Everything is shut down, I think. Something is on. I think it's this. Yeah, it's that. But everything else is shut down. The wind is blowing. So once we've got all of our batteries fully charged actually let's go ahead and fully charge everything just to procrastinate a little longer now the reason we want to do this is because that sucks up a lot of electricity I don't think it sucks up enough that it's going to blow our power lines um, it's possible it could e oops electro Electrolyzer. There we go. So it... That's it? 10 watts? Uh, I don't think that's correct. Yeah. Oh, it's base power. Hydration critical. And it doesn't say what the upper limit is. Might have been a good idea to go find out if the solar panels are in good condition. Is that charging? 68, 78, 69. Okay, it is charging. Okay, so we will leave it at that. We don't need everything to be 100%. And let's see what happens. So it probably is working, but the problem is uh, we don't have enough pressure. Because the pressure in here is um, actually, it should be enough to push through. No, it shouldn't, because we need above 250. So let's go above 250. It's not going to be long before we get above 250 doesn't seem to back siphon any so uh, we'll be able to combust ooh and our power is very low okay it is bleeding in cool and we've we've 
bottomed out our grid. Perfect. Okay, so have we raised the temperature any? Oh yeah, a little bit. And it's continuing to raise as the hydrogen gets uh, hydrogen and oxygen get used up. So we do have vol in here. Or NOS in here. Uh, quite a few moles of... No moles of NOS. Okay, whatever. So, are you charged up any? Okay, you're charged up a bit. Let's go outside and... Um, turn on our... Our coal plant. Hopefully we got enough to get out. We have enough to get out. Now we'll head over there. We'll grab some of that and a swing and a hit. Where's the door? There's the door. Where's the button? I'm going to turn my light on to find that button. Light on. Light on. There. Now we can turn this on again. What do we need? We need about 700 more. No, we need um, maybe 270 thermal uh, Kelvin. But we also need to overcome the pressure we already got in there. So that's going to be a lot. It might be best if we put a, a, uh, um, a thing, a pump. That's it. I'd figure it out eventually. Now, are we charging? We are charging. Good. So, if we run on coal, um, we can operate this thing effectively. So... 336. There we go. And we're getting up there. Unfortunately, we climb exponentially. And then we've got to uh, do more stuff. But... This is working. We will have steel in a little while. Let's just get this, keep going. It's lagging just a little bit behind, so that's not terrible. And oxygen. We have more volatiles and oxygen in there. So we could probably inject it with um, our, uh, our nitrogen, nitrous oxide. Okay, just 100, 100 uh, Kelvin more. which way that's going to pop out. Come on. A little bit more. I think that's that's what the temperature is. Oh, we don't have enough pressure. Are you serious? Oh, I uncoupled it. Okay. Oh, I thought I ran out of water. Oh, man. That wasn't, that wasn't a good feeling. Okay, so now we switch with this. And I will tune this. Oh, we can't because it's not hooked up for that. Okay, that's good enough.
let's stop this. Now what we need is a Mega Pascal, I think. I think this is one of the few occasions where um, you don't have enough pressure in the... Excuse me. Click. There you go. Yeah, one Mega Pascal. So what I might do is I might go out there and suck some... Uh, it's very... No, it's not. It's only half. So what I might do is I might go out there and I might um, suck some atmosphere into the... Okay, yeah, the uh, coal generator shut down. I might suck some atmosphere into the... Um, the furnace. It's cooling, and I don't like the fact that it's cooling. So... Can we make a power thing in here? Nope. Uh, it's the... It's the electronic chute. Probably copper. I lost one. I don't know, know. I don't know where it's gone. Copper and solder. I don't have solder. And I could probably make solder right now, but I need 500 more kilopascals. And I don't really want to run a wire all the way over there, but uh, I guess we may have to do that. So, are we? So, do I, am I going to do that? That doesn't seem very fruitful to me. Yeah, let's run a wire all the way over there. Ill-prepared! I thought there would be enough pressure, but I guess not. Okay, so... We're going to put up an iron wall right here. We're going to seal it off like that. And maybe over here for good for good measure. Just in case I need to open up that one too. Super. And I probably don't have enough. Uh, wire, so let's make wire preemptively, because I know I'm going to be short, and I am don't want to come back in. Okay. Take you off. Take you off, take you off. And there we go. Now let's weld this back into place. There we go. And we will borrow you. Because we actually don't need you to get in. We only need you to get out. And I forgot pipe. Oh, uh, great. See, I knew I was going to forget something. Where's the pipe? The pipe is right there. So probably right here. Whoops. Hydration critical. Yeah, right there, but... <sighs> let's not... Let's not risk this. Super. Uh, 
I don't know what I need for an active vent. I'm sure it's not too terribly much, but it might be. And we're gonna try to suck in some pressure here till we reach close to a megapascal. There we go, that's a megapascal. Pascal, Pascal. I can't even say it properly. There we go. Grab that. Grab that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now, what are we at? We are at just a little bit more. We need to get it above this above a megapascal. That's not going to be. Well, that's going to be a little hard. It's not going to be terribly hard, but let's just keep going here. Is it 31 degrees in here? It's 32. Probably should have put a pump on that, but. Definitely should have put a, a pump on that. Let's make a pump. Nope. How hard is it to make a pump? And do we already have a pump? Uh, that's not where you make a pump? No, you make a pump up here. See? Pump. Even though a pump has more in common with an electron, when a piece of electronics, iron, gold, and copper. Yeah, we can make a pump. Now let's shut this back off. Getting close. Lead, nickel, gold. Turn that off. There we go. Will it exit? Thank you. Thank you. Now, can I get this this way? Maybe. I don't think I can put a pump right on the end of that, but let's try. No, that's not what I wanted. That's that's definitely not what I wanted, buddy. Thank you. And we're going to turn this around. And it doesn't look like it can. Let's put this... Like that. Is that fully charged? No, not yet. Nope, can't do it that way. So, we'll put that back on here. And we'll remove that one. Perfect. And we'll turn that down to zero. And we will continue that like that. Ironically, it's a little easier to do it further away. Now, is it fully connected? I think it's fully connected. Now, we will put this pump to... Uh, we can't put it to 1% because I can't hold the Alt key and the C key at the same time. So we'll just pulse it and see if that brings us up to the proper... 
Temperature? Nope. Is it removing? No, it is not. Okay, it has to be on for that to actually happen. Uh, ew. There we go. Uh, shit, I took my helmet off. Okay, here's the hatch. Then there's copper. There's the helmet. <laughs> Oxygen critical. Light on. Oxygen low. Okay, so we've got only one thing? I thought there was two things of... I put in six... Yeah, I should have two things, shouldn't I? Fifty, one hundred, no, okay, no. Thirty, no, I should have six. Let's pause for a sec. So, I put in a hundred and fifty, two hundred... No, I only have four hundred, okay, so... Now I have to remember what I was going to do. I need a grow light. I need a grow light. Okay, um, it's very weird what's in one thing and not in the other. Although I guess a light is electronics. And probably copper. Grow. <sighs> I put steel in there. No, I didn't. Uh, and silicon. Why silicon? I don't know. Oh, electrium. A grow light needs electrium? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, how do I make electrium? Turn you off. Turn you off. Okay, how do you how do you make electrium? Elec oh. ah. Electrium, there we go. Electrium I need. Okay, the kilopascals are fine. The temperature is fine. Fine, so I need gold and silver. I can do this right now. What's this? 50 silver. 100 silver. This is going to be wasting some shit. Although, I think my... Yeah, my pressure is a little high. That's fine. And I need equal parts in gold. So gold, I need to split that into 100. No 100 gold. That is not cool, dude. Two gold, silver, one more silver, make sure that's right, gold and silver, okay, that's fine. Okay, and I need the pressure to be below 2.4, and the temperature can be whatever the hell it wants. So, um, hmm. Do I go outside and vent it a little? Or do I do something else? Let's think here. Let's think. It would be nice if I had an expansion tank, but I don't really want to go that far right now. 
Oh, I need to check something. What temperature are you? Come on, let me through. That electrium's not going anywhere, so it can it can wait while I decide this for a sec. Uh, where's my thing of a blobber? There's my thing of a blobber. You are 5C. Ho, ho, ho. We're going to bring our temperature down. Going to bring our temperature down. Radiator, radi... Pipe bender. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I need... Steel. And silicon. Need radiator. Radiator. <sighs> I need gold. Ah, crap. Okay, gold. No. Gold. <sighs> okay, suit power is about to crash. But I can get. Uh, a little bit of thermal out of that. Ah. Is temperature going down? Is temperature going down? Not a lot. Oh. There wasn't a lot. Oh, oh there is some in there. So that's heating up. And I'm guessing it's cooling the room. Yeah, it is cooling the room. Okay, good. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Now, I can make a small insulated tank. I can make a small insulated tank. Can I make it smaller? Go. I need copper. 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 Go. Uh, and I can't exactly put it in here because there's not a lot of room. So I have to put it outside somewhere. And I am going to steal back that pump. Where are you, pump? Hi, pump. Oh, you wanna, you wanna one of those, do you? Okay, let's stand on a. Nope, can't stand on that. You mind going over there? I got it down. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, turn you off. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, so... I... I am ab about to crash my power system. Um, so, what I am going to do is I'm going to pause and I'm going to go to the bathroom and then I'll come back, um, with my head freshly emptied because my brain is in my ass. I don't know if that was funny. I'm going to say it anyways. And I just realized that it probably been a lot funnier if I said that I was going to the bathroom and that I would have been able to think more clearly because I would have emptied my head because I have shit for brains. Or something like that. But I missed the opportunity and I am um, sufficiently ashamed of myself. Okay, so what I can do is I can put... I can put that tank out there and I can control it. I can control the, the pump from in here. And I'm not losing any pressure, but I need to make it a little hotter. Do I need to make it a little hotter? 600 Kelvin. No, I do not make need to make it a little hotter. Okay, good. Okay, 
but I do need some charge because we're kind of choking to death on a lack of electricity. Did I lose one? Don't know. I don't think so. I think I had four. Let's also check the jetpack on the solar waste tank caution. Oh, waste tank. Let's check the solar panels Jet for damage, on. just in case I missed it, and I did not. So that's perfect. Now we are going to. Add a end to this right there, and maybe dig out a little bit. Whoa, why the hell are you so violent? Ah, crap. Okay, let's put a wall there. No, that's not a wall. Iron sheets. Did I put that in the wrong place? Oh, that is a wall. I need a frame. I put the wrong thing in the wrong thing and things went badly. So let's just try this one more time. There we go. That's sorted. We don't need you anymore. Put you back over here. And then we will Yes, I want that sticking out a bit, because I want to see the pump, because this isn't in a wall. There we go. And now, we will run the wire. I would like to keep the wire in a straight line as much as possible. But this also means it might be difficult to aim it properly. Oh no, that's already done. So... Is that not connected? Oh, no, I need nippers. There. Perfect. Now I need the tank. And I don't think I can put the tank right on the end. No, I can't. So that's going to go back one. And we're going to... That attached. This is starting to become a little bit of a mess. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Perfect! Take off my mitt. My oh, helmet. Okay, and then we'll take a screwy driver. We'll change this to the volume pump, and we'll change that to on, and we'll turn it on. Now, that should be going down nice and slow. We don't want to spike it up too much, or spike it down too much, and we need to get below 2.4 millipascals. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Maybe I can find some, like, uh, epic music to stick in here.
atrium. Yay! We got electrium, and it needs to go in this printer, and we'll turn you guys off. Cool. And now we need... Um, where is the... Steel is in here. Where's the steel? Gold. Steel. And we need the grow light. Cool, we need copper. Come on. Boop. Okay, whatever. And now where are we going to set up our little plant? Right there? Where am I going to put you? Jesus Christ, we got no room. So we are at 68 kilopascals. So that's less than it was before. Wasn't I on 74? Where'd the rest of the atmosphere go? Did I breathe all the or with all the oxygen? Or did I vent it? I'm I I I hope I didn't vent it. I was at 74 melopascals, and now I'm not. Ah, oh, fuck. So... Ah, crap. Can this... Can I just leave that like that? I think I'll just leave that like that. Open helmet. There we go. Light on. And move everything out of the way. And how much O2 is down there? Quite a bit, quite a bit. So we're not gonna when I'm not gonna remove that pedestal. I'm just going to leave it there. But what I am going to do is I'm going to pick up all of this wire. Put the computer back down there. There we go. There we go. And then, where is the... Oh, it's on me. Put you back in there. No, not you. You. Okay, we need to uh, replug in everything from outside. This will be... Okay, you need to plug that stuff back in first. Let's do that right now. Close helmet. Turn everything back on. Vent. Oh, I know where the I know where the oxygen is gone. I'm not venting it out over there because I didn't put the the vent back in. Now we can plug that back in. Eventually, I hopefully have like a something in here somewhere, like a um transformer, although I don't think there's any place I can put the transformer. Maybe right there. This goes here, that goes down. No. Maybe transformer on the floor. Oh, who cares? There we go. Super duper KO pooper. Don't ask where I got that from. I have no idea. Now I need the small satellite dish on the on. And then for this, I need the small satellite dish and vertical. Is it in the right position? Nope. So 
So vertical position. Uh, three sixty. And we're gonna move you to the forty-five degree position. You on, you on. You on, turn you on. <laughs> and we'll no, nope, don't want you. We want you to be in the horizontal position. Oh, it's gonna turn to forty five degrees. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I I I turn you back to zero. Okay. Now we're gonna shut that off. Shut you off, shut you off, shut you off. And I guess that's enough for today. We've actually made progress. Oh, uh, before I go, I'm going to make one more connector. Because I need to plug my water back in. So I don't thirst to death. Oh, wait a minute, what's sitting there? Oh, the grow light. Okay, oh, the grow light. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so we need a connector. Not that kind of connector. We need the pipe bender. God, I hate having so many printers. No interstellar organization is going to have this many printers. I don't know what I need for the connector. I think I need iron. Okay, iron. Connector. Uh, we don't need insulated, so we'll just go with a uh, liquid connector. Yep, just need iron. Now let's make sure none of these things... Let's see how much oxygen we have first. We are in dire need of oxygen. And why is that... Is there... Okay, yeah, that's covered down there. That's covered there, and it's covered over there. So I don't know why it's not... We are in dire need of oxygen. Super dire need of oxygen. Uh, right there. And we'll put you back. Shit, open helmet. Oxygen critical. Oxygen low. Oxygen low. Thank you. You told me that twice. Okay. That's back on there. That's back over there. I hate stuff on the floor. Let's put everything in the same thing of a blobber. Uh, this can be turned off now. Everything back. Now, is that everything? Is there nothing else on the floor? Contents, 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 contents. Okay, let's review our contents. We have 253 iron, 179 gold, 245 copper, 373 steel. 142 silver, 50 nickel, 12 lead. Ooh, lead's really low. Uh, 190 electrium. Where is the steel? Oh, steel is 337. And we have 44 silicon. Now, we do have stuff on the ground that we still need to uh, melt. So that will be um, at some point in the future. Let's... Where's that piece of glass? There's that one piece of glass. Is there anything else in here? Nope. Let's cover that up so we know how to do that tomorrow. And that will be it for today because we have um, achieved our goal of getting steel and, as a bonus, electrum. Our uh, furnace is holding pressure. We have a little tiny... Um, capture tank back there which means we can do everything but the um the 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 the, 
the, the metal, the alloys that require the highest pressure and the highest temperature. We can do all but those. Hydration and critical. We are in a fairly good uh, position. Yay for us! Now, uh, we begin this this journey talking about uh, New Year's because it's going to be New Year's in a few hours. So, um, <sighs> let's make a New Year's resolution to never make New Year's resolution because they're stupid. We'll either choose something that is is a a, a given to um, uh, that we're going to do because it's something that we want to give up or something that we're not very attached to. So I think that's my decision. My New Year's resolution is to have no New Year's resolution.